Hello YouTube, I'm TankHundredFan12 and to sum up in short, for the next four videos in four weeks, I will be celebrating Thomas the Tank Engine's legacy of 76 years. So without further ado, let's get started. So, since it's Thomas's anniversary, I decided, why not go back to its roots? That's right, I'm talking about the Railway Series. Yeah, I don't actually own the Railway Series, I just read copies of it online and watch videos like the narrations. So with that little discrepancy out of the way, why not look at the characters who were fortunate enough to be brought into merchandise, but not to be brought into the show. Thankfully, I happen to own four of them. I really expected that I'd have like 10 and this would be a big extravaganza review, but um, get what you get, right? Let's start with Neil. I think Neil shines the most when it comes to fan works, since he really didn't have a personality in the books. All we know about him is that he was built in Scotland, worked for the SNM, and took Scarlowy on a flatbed. It's really it. His face, while nice, doesn't capture the books perfectly, but I don't think Wooden Railway would have been able to do that anyways. While yes, his shaping is quite good, I feel like they could have changed it a little bit for him to be more accurate to the books, since shaping is something Wooden Railway never mind. Overall, Neil is a solid model with printing that, while simple, fits the character. He was really made in the right era. Also, you could fit figures inside of his cabin. I mean, who doesn't like to do that with their Wooden Railway engines? Next up, we have the good and the bad. The original Wooden Railway Coldy and the superior Take-Along Coldy. Alright, ugly first, good second, let's get this over with. I got my Coldy from the 2001 Day at the Work set. Thus why he has printing on the bottom. Honestly, it's not as bad as a model as people say it is. Like, sure, his build is completely off and that back face is atrocious. And yeah, his face is just too small and too high up, but... Still, if you look past that and just realize it was based on magazine illustrations, he's not that bad. The only thing I really have an issue with when I first got the model, at least, was the fact that there was no side rod details and this was just a gaping hole. Honestly, if a kit didn't know about the Railway series, this would totally satisfy them. And that's kind of the point of Wooden Railway, so get to pass in my eyes. Or maybe that's just nostalgia. Then we have the, oh my god, is that side rod detailing? But yes, this model of Coldy is probably the best and only the second model that he got in metal form and is quite similar to the 2005 Wooden Railway one. He has a proper sloped boiler and a slightly less creepy back face. And as I mentioned earlier, side rod detailing something I love to see on these models. It's also just a very well-printed model, and the fours are very nicely printed, and so is the name, really. I also really like the take on his face, as it fits him quite well. Honestly, the only thing stopping this from being probably one of my favorite take play models is the fact that he doesn't have the tram skirts. Besides that, it's an amazing model, and even if you get it secondhand like me, it still looks incredible. Post-production me. Um, by tram skirts, I did not mean anything similar to Toby. I meant the little square near the bottom of his cab. Nothing like Toby, like on the 2005 model. Moving on to the juicy stuff, we have D199 in his metal form. In all honesty, though, this is probably one of my favorite take-along models. He has... Some of the best detailing out of all of them, in my opinion. Sure, it's not all painted, but the texture. I mean, it's the stuff you would get out of these. And they even have these little cylinder detailings. And the back has the AC-10 thing, which I still don't know what it means. I mean, there's really nothing negative about this model. I mean, he even has movable bogies, Diesel 261. The only thing I can really say that's negative is the face, but I mean... You could even count it as him being smug, not really happy. So, it's really one of my favorite models, besides the fact that, I mean, he is a little cross-eyed. So, yeah, I would definitely pick this up if you get the chance. 
just to finish the video, while yes, it isn't very substantial, I am happy I kicked off this little anniversary celebration since my channel was still on hiatus when the 75th one happened. And I have some big projects in the work for this, so hope you stay tuned and see ya.